Hey, I am back and we are going to do, this is Polly, and we're going to do a watercolor um, seascape today with a boat um, on the water. I'm going to show you how to do some reflections on the water and how to do a graduated wash. A graduated wash is when you can kind of have a darker color and as you kind of go to the top it gets lighter and lighter, meaning it kind of gradually changes from dark to light or from light to dark. And this is a pretty easy piece. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go in different stages where we're going to dry it. We'll paint a little bit, hair dry it, and then go back. And we're going to layer it. So you're going to see a lot of layering in this piece. This is my um, nephew Kevin's buddy's boat, which is kind of cool. So here's the photo of the, this is a painting of the boat, excuse me. And here's the photo of the boat. So it's pretty close, and a lot of times you can crop your pieces if you want to. You can do that. That's what I kind of did. I've made the piece more um, horizontal. Excuse me, more vertical. I made the piece more vertical, not horizontal. This one's more horizontal, and I believe this one is more vertical when you kind of do that. So here's the photo. Another thing, a tip that I can give you, if you have a copy machine, Sometimes you can copy the piece in black and white, and that might make it easier for you to see it to paint. So that's an end you can conserve um, ink, so you can copy it in black and white and draw it out, and then make a smaller copy if you want in color, so you can conserve your ink. Just a, a tip. So there's the photo, which is great. He sent a great photo. And there's the painting. And you know what? If you want to use any other kind of boat in here, you can. I'll just show you how to do, kind of, it looks like it's a sunset of um, how to do a sunset with a boat. You could kind of do any boat. So that's that. And then I'm going to show you again. This is my favorite watercolor paper. I love arches. Um, this is rough, and it's 140 pound. There's 20 sheets in here. So I always paint on watercolor blocks. I don't have to stretch my paper. So this is a watercolor block. You flip it. When you're done with your painting on the top, you just peel the top off and you've got the next piece ready to go. So this is a watercolor block. So now I'm going to flip it. And this is the drawing of the painting. So I've left, I kind of, when you're doing an object in a piece, don't put it smack in the middle of the paper. It'll look kind of weird. Set it off to the side so I have a little bit more space in front of it than I do behind it. And I also kind of faked, see my mountains kind of ended when I did this. So I just kind of faked some mountains, just drew some mountains over here to kind of fill that in. So if you want to kind of look at that, as we get ready to go, this is how you're going to, um, this is your drawing. And then this is your photo. Now, the colors that we're going to use today, I mixed yellow ochre and alizarin crimson. Yellow ochre and alizarin crimson, it made a great peach color. That's going to kind of be the, sun, the sunset. And then I took cerulean blue and ultramarine blue, cerulean blue and ultramarine blue, and I mixed that. And later on, when we add another color, it'll, we'll, we may add a little bit of black to make it darker when we hit some of the mountains and maybe when we hit some of the darker windows on the boat right here. So I'll, I'll periodically show you guys, um, I'll bring it back and forth, the painting and the photo, and then there's, there's the painting. Okay. Okay. 